Hey, welcome everybody to this shortwave radio channel and um, we'll continue to uh, talk about the loop antennas. Uh, what's interesting is you guys have great questions, of course, because you guys have different questions and, you know, the price isn't the same. So there are questions that arise that, you know, ask, make us ask the question, is, you know, both going to be the same? Because obviously, you know, you look at this, for example, which is a thin, um, you know, kind of stainless steel um, a, wire or, or, or you know metal um, and and you have this box here that is equivalent to and let's go here what we have here on the uh, W6 LVP so this contains the electronics the other one also contains the electronics with the amplification and uh, both of them are meant to be used outdoors if needed, which will be the case here. And of course, what is going to be very interesting here is we got really harsh, cold, and amazing Canadian winters in Montreal with wind and rain and snow and ice. And the thing is, is that a lot of you have been talking about, so well, will it you know, be able to, to withstand the winter? Of course, both will be there and both will be being tested through the Canadian Canadian winters, of course. Uh, so, of course, this is a good question. And also, you know, the rain and everything. And over time, we'll have, and maybe we'll change our mind about something. But today we're talking performance-wise, because there's, you know, no rain. The weather is really beautiful. Um, some of you have talked about, you know, how good is the resistance to, um, to uh, rain, to, you know, uh, water and all of that. Well, one of the things that I did see on one of the um, tests is that uh, somebody opened up this little box here. And uh, what they noticed is that there's a, a count pound in uh, around the box that is supposed to give it pretty much weather tight and, and water tight capabilities. So it's supposed to hold down. Now here, uh, if we look, so these are two little, um, you know, just two screws to attach the 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 metal of the loop and um, technically this is supposed to work and hold on to uh, the, the bad weather and of course that's what we'll see as time goes on of course but you know uh, of course this is a, a $50 uh, antenna so you might think you know how w uh, watertight will it be but at the same time you know what one of the things that I have to say, surprised me and maybe kind of pissed me off a little bit is that this box here, the way that it's made, you know, the guy gives you, and, and once again, remember, this is an expensive antenna. The guy gives you a roll of electric tape and tells you, well, you know, for the winter and everything, you'll have to put, you know, some, some electric tape or, or put something to actually make sure that this seals everything. I should not be doing that on an antenna that is this expensive. I'm sorry, but that is something I'm not sure. One thing that I do like also about the cheaper loop is this is a BNC. This is what goes inside to the box that powers the um, uh, the box that powers my uh, the electronics in here. And of course, from that box you go to the um, to the uh, radio. Well, this one is a connector also that will also be need to be sealed for the winter. And I'll have to do this soon because we're getting uh, closer to winter as time goes by. What I like about the MLA 30 is the fact that this is actually going directly inside. You have no need to anything. I also, I, I kind of find that, I'm sorry to say more intelligent in the way that it's done. Of course, uh, you might not like that. You might not like the fact that the wire is attached. But then again, you know, for big screws, it's easy to actually open. I will not open it. Some of you have uh, actually, a, a couple of you have been uh, sending me emails saying, hey, well, you open the box, show us inside. You know what? I, I don't want to because I want to make sure this stays watertight for at least one winter. But um, I, I want to make sure that this actually uh, is tested in its conditions and the way that it's built. So, uh, you know, interesting questions, of course, because you guys always have really interesting questions. Will it be as good and will it, you know, end up 
with uh, Canadian winter and be a dud uh, in March or still work and, and be pretty good. But I'm also asking myself the same thing with the W6 LVP here. Will that thing withstand our winter and be okay when we all, you know, go into the uh, Canadian spring in March and April? Uh, so good questions. And of course, that is only through time. There's a few tests that I can do, like today, the test that I'm doing is testing it with reception and both of them are amazing. But the test of time, well, requires time. We'll have to wait. And of course, I'll take note of this and make sure that you know, in April of next year or May of next year, I'll report back and say, so how did boat antennas fare after a harsh Canadian winter? Uh, are those really good? Are still boat antennas working well? Did they withstand the wind and the rain and the ice and the snow? That's all things that only time will tell, of course. And uh, that's going to be interesting to see also. So I uh, keep... Uh, pushing those questions and uh, of course tonight we'll be uh, testing those live. If you enjoy our videos please subscribe, give us thumbs up, thank you for watching.